All right, folks. Um, congratulate uh, Coach Gundy in Oklahoma State. They they played a, a really good football game. Um, we knew it was going to be a challenge coming in here and trying to to slow down um, something, whether it was a run game, whether it was a throwing game, the quarterback. Um, you know, our our goal was to uh, handle the tempo, uh, not get frustrated if if they make a play. Um, and uh, forget about the previous play and go to the next play and, and hold them to field goals. We thought if we could win in the red zone, we'd have an opportunity. So I was pleased with that. You can forget about yards. I don't care about that. We held them to you know, 26 points, which is uh, uh, a, a pr pretty good effort by our defense. Um, created a few turnovers offensively. We just couldn't, couldn't get enough going, especially on first and 10. That was where we struggled. We just didn't uh, get into a great rhythm on offense and first and 10, and that's a, a credit to... Uh, to their defense. And so um, we've got to go back to work on Monday. Like I told the guys, we've got a good football team. We've got a, guys with great resolve. We've got a bunch of great leaders in there um, that uh, nothing's going to change from us as a coaching staff. We still believe in you. We still um, trust that we're going to continue to move forward and get better. And, and they've got to do the same thing and, and flush this and get ready to go on Monday. You, you had praised their corners a lot this week. How difficult was it to get separation against those guys in the passing? It, it was, uh, you know, there just seemed like we had some time early on, but nobody was getting open, and uh, and then they closed on the ball exceptionally well, and and uh, you know they were they were going to sit and play a lot of man coverage, and um, especially it didn't matter if it was spread out formations or condensed formations, they were going to say, hey, we're going to try to play man coverage and beat you. You had halftime and came out of there. It was kind of an opportunity to hit reset after the uh, the delay, um, go three and out. Yeah, a little bit. You know, we had the first break, and we come back and make a big time play. You know, Sammy Wheeler makes a great play, which uh, which we need Sammy to make a big time play, and and that was a good confidence builder for him. So we were able to get three points there, and uh, I don't think the delay or anything was any factor. It really wasn't. It probably, if anything else, gave us a chance to reset and do some things on defense a little bit to try to help slow them down, and then uh, we just missed a fit um, and. You know, give those guys credit. Uh, I know Coach Hayes was frustrated. We missed a, a fit that uh, we typically would would hit, um, and we didn't. And, and the kid's a great player. And he, if you miss something against that guy, he's going to take it to the distance. You know, about the, the way the way Skyler played today. You know, uh, he was under duress. So let's let's you know look at the film and stuff. And, and he got hit quite a bit. But uh, um, you know, he's going to learn and, and get better. And, and uh, I'm. I know one thing, the kid friggin' battled, and he battled, and he battled, and he always thought he, we were going to win, and that's what I love about Skyler is he's such a competitor, and uh, we're going to all learn from him. Talk about the defensive uh, adjustments in the second half. You know, you really shut it down. Well, we played a lot of single high man coverage, and uh, obviously the, the receiver made some Made some pretty good catches, made some good plays, and some uh, you know tough tough balls. And he made some plays, and so then we we started playing a little bit uh, of too high, and then we started pressuring them more. The one thing we didn't think is uh, that people had pressured these guys enough, and to try to get some hits on on the quarterback, and so um, we were able to do that. You know, we were able to cause some problems. We were able to force a couple of picks. We were able to force a uh, a fumble, even though it was a fourth down play. It was a great play by Wyatt. So um, you know, I, I thought our defense did a nice job. You know, it, I, it didn't listening on the headset. You now we'll go back and talk about it as a staff to see um, you know, how much that did uh, affect us. But it really shouldn't when we were within two scores, uh, especially early on. Uh, it, it shouldn't affect us. And we were down, you know, against uh, Mississippi State. I know we had the kick return to get it back, but we weren't going to change our mentality there. Obviously, we're not a team that wants to get down by two scores because of, of the style of offense we play. We'd rather be uh, in a one-score game or, a, or ahead so that we can run the football. You, you always say uh, every game is different. Every game yeah. is its own game. This is one game. This is one loss in the locker room just now. What, what, what do you see out of the uh, the kids care, and the, and the kids want to be great. And I, I've said from day one, whatever you did last Saturday has no bearing on the next Saturday, and I'm a firm believer in that. What we did against Nichols had no bearing on Bowling Green and so on and so forth, and, and we've just got to learn from our mistakes. We've got to uh, clean up some things uh, in all phases of the game. Um, it, it's still it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And we've played four games and um, have had back-to-back -back road games, and we're excited to get back home. And, and uh, I, I know one thing. Th those guys in the locker room, they've got a, they've, we've got great leadership. We've got great resolve. 
you know, I, I love those kids because of their competitiveness, uh, and we'll be back ready to play. It's just one snap, but on the first offensive play, is the wheel route to Gilbert like, in that progression, or is that not a, a throw Skyler's looking at? In the first play of the game? Yeah. It definitely is, and I didn't see the play, so I, I don't have an answer of what he was looking at, I, I, but absolutely it is, yeah. How much was it playing without Malik today and fugitives of status? Well, I, I don't know uh, how long he'll be out. It's a lower body, body injury. Uh, we learned about it. You know, he's he probably got it in Mississippi State, tried to fight through it, and we learned on Wednesday. But, you know, uh, shoot, we didn't play without Wyatt Hubert and Walt Neal, and we found a way to, uh, to persevere at Mississippi State. It's the next man up. I think you you know we missed Wyatt Hubert and and Walt Neal before, but we were able to overcome it. You, you, absolutely, you, you you miss a guy, but it gives somebody else an opportunity to step up, and and uh, um, hopefully we'll get him back soon. How shocked were you in the struggles with the running game, or would you would you say maybe the offensive line wasn't getting enough push there? Or what, what was the issues? I I got to look at it, but I, I really believe that uh, they did some really nice things up front, um, and. Uh, and you know, we for whatever reason couldn't get things going, and we'll we'll look at it as we look at the tape. But I, I right now, I'm not quite sure. Other than we just got to be better. Yeah, the drive in the second half, where they get eight backups on the field and an interception and a big play from them uh, with Daryl Patterson. I guess here's my factor to play on that drive. Well, we were going to play a lot of bodies, and if you notice, every time there was a substitution for us, it was a hockey line change. I mean, we were getting as many guys in there as we could to try to to try to limit some of the. Uh, some of the plays that we had. And I look at there, they had 69 offensive plays. I know they had a bunch of yards. Once again, I'm, I'm more of a, a points guy, but you know, 69 snaps is, is not a lot of snaps for those guys. And so um, I, I was pleased. You know, DP made a play. We played, oh boy, a bunch of D linemen. We played a bunch of guys in the secondary. <clears throat> we played three linebackers. Something that we're going to have to lean on as we continue on conference play. Well, I, I wanted to get the points there simply because I thought Skyler was gassed, you know, and I thought, okay, let's let's get them settled down. And I also knew there was going to be more possessions, or I'd hope there'd be more possessions because they were going fast. And we ended up getting the ball back pretty quickly. I don't know if that was after the interception or not, but they didn't slow their tempo down. So um, I, I thought we could probably get the ball back. He's just – he's a great football player. He, he can – he can run through arm tackles. He gets his shoulder square and, and can outrun you. Um, you know, he's he's a dynamite player. And, and uh, uh, moving forward, people, this, this is a tough offense to defend because you, you have to pick your poison a little bit of what you want to do uh, in defending a, a terrific wide receiver, a terrific quarterback, and a terrific running back. How much what the rush defense is, is it a product of Juba just being so good, and how much of it is maybe a concern? Well, we got to clean up uh, when they were in their, their three back set. And I know there weren't backs in there, there were tight ends, but we've got to clean that up. That's We, we lost two big plays on that. Um, and, uh, you know, once again, seeing it from the field, we're, we, we think we're talking it through, uh, but uh, we've, we've got to clean that up. But let's give him credit, too. He, he ran through a couple arm tackles. Well, Hubert at one point was just unblockable on the right side for their right side. So yeah. they're not a deep lane. Yeah, I thought he played exceptionally hard. I thought I thought all our guys, you know, they, they battled, and, and that's the one thing is uh, there's not any quit in that locker room, and those, those guys are they're hurting right now. Um, obviously, nobody wants to lose, uh, nobody wants to to not play their best, but uh, sometimes you got to tip your cap to the to the opponent. They they did a nice job, and they were a better team today. No, you can't. You know, it's once again, it's uh, like I told the guys, I'm not going to change. Uh, they don't know that yet because we haven't had a loss. And I and I promise those guys, I'm not going to change. I'm, I'm still going to challenge them. I'm still going to love them. I'm going to still uh, be the same guy. And then the challenge to them is, don't you guys change. You guys are preparing your tails off. We didn't execute exceptionally well tonight. But our preparation, uh, I thought the last two weeks was dynamite. And if we keep believing and buying in and stacking those days of, of having great preparation, it'll pay off. Anything else? All right. Appreciate All right. It. Thanks, guys.